The next exercise we're doing is a goblet squat. Different variation to the squats we've been doing, but the same technique. So feet, comfortable stance apart. As you can see here, a bit more of a sumo stance, and that's perfectly fine. Turn your feet out if you need, and bending down with the knees, with the thigh parallel to the ground. For a goblet squat, we're holding a weight of any kind, bag, bottles of oil, milk, whatever you can uh, grasp that has a little bit of resistance for you, even a resistance band if you have one, and then holding it at the chest nice and comfortably, close to the body, and bringing your body down into that squat position. To add any sort of progression to this, you can increase the weight, and you can also increase uh, the pause down at the bottom of the movement. Our third exercise for our upper body workout today is focusing on our shoulders. The first exercise that you're going to do has three variations again. Our level one variation is a plate front raise. So starting with your hands at hip level, you're simply raising your weight up to shoulder level, nice and controlled, not using your lower back until you get to up to the chest shoulder level and then lower it back down. Variation two, we need you to find some type of weight such as soft drink bottles, any type of water bottle, any weight that you can be stable with above your head. We're doing an overhead press, meaning that we have our arms at 90 degrees at around shoulder height. And what you're simply going to do is push that weight up, meeting in the middle and lowering back down. Really important that you keep your shoulder blades down through that whole movement, keeping that breathing as well as that core nice and stable. Our third variation for our shoulder exercise today is a single arm overhead press. You're going to start with the dumbbell at shoulder height with your arm again at 90 degrees and your other arm keeping balance down by your side. You're simply going to push from your shoulder height up to above your head and lowering it back down, making sure that your shoulder blades are always staying down through the movement and you're keeping that core nice and tight. The exercise we're doing here is the walking lunge, similar to the lunge that we've done previously. Here we want to make sure that our feet are relatively in line, about one and a half times our normal step, and then making sure that we're doing multiple steps on end. If you have a long distance, you can just do it all the way up your hallway, down your driveway, whatever you like. Otherwise you can do as um, shown here, where you're just turning around after a couple of steps. Here we want to make sure that we're really balanced throughout the movement and pausing at each lower uh, part of the rep and between each step. The fifth exercise we're doing is a plank for our core. And here you want to make sure that you have your hips in line with your shoulders and your ankles again forming one straight line. Hands directly under the shoulders to support your upper body uh, weight. And from here it's just holding for 30 seconds the first variation, 60 seconds for the second variation, and 90 seconds for the third. Again, you can also create added difficulty with this by lowering your body to your elbows and holding a plank there.